Hello there, welcome back. Welcome to this uh, interview question series for Java. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about what is the most efficient way to reverse the string. Okay, and it is also called as reverse the string in a place. Okay, so if you remember in the last video, I have explained three, four, three different ways basically how I can reverse the string. First one is by using the inbuilt method of uh, string builder or string buffer. Right, but that's the inbuilding inbuilt mechanism. I want let's say I want to implement my own mechanism. Right, then what we saw is we can either use recursion, okay. But in recursion, I'm going to create a new string, right? So it's not memory efficient. I'm going to create new strings. Okay, what else we saw? We saw the another way to reverse with the help of uh, yeah, sorry, the recursion was this one, and we saw another way by iterating over the string, right? So in which we create a new string again, right? We are not modifying the existing string itself, right? So in Java, so you know that, right? Java is immutable. That means I cannot modify it, right? So let us see if I have some string like Prakash. If I want to modify this one, I cannot do this, right? By using string, right? So I can either use a string builder or I can use a string buffer to reverse it. But in that case as well, I'm going to create the new instances of string buffer or string builder. I want to implement my own mechanism right so how we, how can i do the in place uh, reverse so let's understand so what i want to do is i want to reverse the string so first let me just uh, separate it little bit so that i can understand it better okay and so here my p is at index 1 r is at index 2 index 3 index 4 index 5 index 6 and index 7 okay so fine so indexing starts from 0 that's fine but his, here I am making uh, just uh, for understanding purpose 1 to 7 right now what I want to do is first I want this H right first I want this H then I want yes then I want a then I want K again a again R again P this is what I want this is how I want right so basically what I want is I want to reverse the indexing so I want index 7 then index 6 index 5 index 4 index 3 index 2 and index 1 all right so can I do something like okay can I exchange the values of index 1 and 7 yes I can do right so let us say what I'll do is I am exchanging the value of index 1 with index 7 right something like that right so what will happen is I'll have h over here right which is my uh, let me write it over here okay so I'm indexing index I'm exchanging index 1 with index 7 so at the first index I'll be having H because I have exchanged and likewise at the seventh index I'll be having P because this time I just did only one exchange right now what I'll do is I will just go to the next index okay now I'll move earlier I was working with index 1 now I'll work with index 2 right so what I'll do is I'll go to index 2 right and I will I will exchange this index 2 with my last minus 1 right last but 1 right so what I'll do is I will exchange index 2 with index 6 right so what will happen is here I'll get something like yes and here I'll get something called as R right so likewise again I'm going to exchange 3 and 4 and 4 right so again here I'll get a and here as well I will get a and finally the key is in the between right so I just want to uh, exchange the values of the indexes right so my very first job should be convert this string into character array right so for this purpose what I'm going to do is uh, let me go to my Eclipse okay and here I'm just creating in the same class I'm going to create few methods okay couple of methods so my first method which I'm going to create is reverse the string okay so it's uh, let us say public string and uh, reverse reverse and again I'm going to pass a string let us say a or str fine now my very first job is convert this string into character array right so how to do that char char array of ca let us say is equal to str dot to char array right so that's what now i have converted my actual string into the character array so that i can exchange their 
positions right and again i need to find out the start index and end index right so my integer start okay so integer start index is equal to uh let us say one or uh, basically it will start from zero right so for just demonstration purpose i started it from one so my start index is going to be zero and my end index is going to be end end is equal to how to find it str dot length but it should be str dot length minus one because indexing starts from zero so it would be length minus one right now like till how long i'll continue i will continue till my uh, let us say midway right till i'll continue till midway or can i say something like okay so let us say this one two three is my start index so can i say something like i want to continue till my end index that is this four or six or seven if my end index is greater than start index then exchange right i can say something like that if my end index is less than start index then i should not right i want to just exchange if my end index is greater than start index right so what i'll do is i will use while loop over here okay i'll use while my end index is greater than start index and if it is greater then what i want to do is i want to perform swapping of those um, characters i write uh, position characters right and once the swapping is done right what should i do i should increase the start index right so earlier it was one now i want to make it to two right so what i'll do is i'll use start plus plus again at the similar at the similar time i should reduce the uh, end index right so i should do end minus minus right so now that's it i am done right and once i am done with this what i what i what i should return to get the reverse string right again where my reverse string will get stored into the same character array right because i am exchanging the position here in the swap i am exchanging the position into the same character array so i am not going to create new array it is it is so that, that's why it is memory efficient i am going to use the same array i am not going to create any new array or any new string nothing right i am going to modify it into the same right so i should be returning the same character array right so uh, basically since i am using returning a string so i should use something like new string and my character array this should this should give me yeah so this is working right so i'm returning a string now so that this reverse method will give me the reverse of the array sorry reverse of the string uh, in which we did the in place uh, replacement or in place reverse right now i'm yet to uh, implement this swap method right so let me create one public static so i'm going to create it as a static void and i'll give the method name let us say what i use this swap and to this method what should i pass okay so i need this character array right so i need character array so i'll say char array of ca let us say then i need a start index int start and i need end index int end right i need these three things right in order to perform the swapping right again now it's pretty simple right first what i'll do is i will store the uh, start index into some uh, temp as char so i'll create one char called as temp in which i am going to create um, character of start great now i am going to exchange now right so what i'll do is i'll say character of start is equal to character at end right so that my end character will come into the start character now my start character is already in temp right here so what i want to do is i want to move this temp into end right so what i'll do is i'll say ca of end is equal to temp right and that's pretty much this method should work for me right what i'm doing i'm just exchanging the position of this start and end how first i created one temporary character in which i'm going to create star store a value of uh, start char then i'm storing start char i'm exchanging basically star uh, character of start is equal to character of end and then end is equal to temp just reversing the value exchanging the value right then i'm going to call this method over here right so i'll use swap the same method name and what i need to pass i need to pass first is character array that is ca let's uh, let's see ca and then i need to pass start index it is start and then end index end right and what's that error yeah 
right and i think this should work okay so let's give a try uh, if it is not working we'll debug it right so i'm going to print it again in the into the same method so earlier i have shown the three ways but the last way which i am showing is is the most efficient way right because we are doing the in search uh, sorry in place reverse so it is reverse okay and my string is again prakash okay so if i run it yeah can you see all four uh, ways i'm i'm getting the same result that means the reverse is happening and this is the most efficient way it's little uh, like i need to implement it by myself but it is without using any standard method of strings okay so yeah so that's it i wanted to show here we are doing the in uh, basically in place uh, a reverse i'm i'm replacing it into the same character array and returning the same character array by swapping the values right so that's it for this video okay thank you